What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be replacing the starter motor on a Honda Civic 1.7 liter, 2004. Stay tuned. But first, I wanted to announce we've got some Andy's Auto merch now. We got a hat, a shirt, a sticker, a coffee mug, and even a hoodie. You can find these items listed below the video, or you can go to my channel page and you can find them under the store section. If you're interested in supporting the channel while also getting some pretty cool gear for yourself, go ahead and check those out. Now back to the video. I also want to take a second to say that YouTube has actually moved the store to the description instead of below the video so they can place ads underneath the video so if you are interested in checking out the merch shop you have to click on the description moving forward now back to the video all right first thing we want to do is get these battery cables disconnected both of them got them both loose pull this one off and this one now there should be a 10 millimeter bolt here and a 10 millimeter bolt there and then we want to take this out of here with the door panel clip tool and we should be able to remove this piece here. Alright so it does look like there's another 10 millimeter bolt here and I believe that I saw another one down there somewhere. Give me one second. Oh there's two. There's one down in there. And then there's another one up here, and then there's this one, and this one. So there's four of them. There's actually a fifth bolt on this thing. Here's the battery, and it goes down right there by this snorkel tube here. Alright, so I did end up separating those two pieces. It was a little easier to get it out that way. And uh, this is what we're working with. It is a little bit of a pain to fish that giant piece out of there. But here's our starter motor right here. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and get the electrical disconnected. This nut right here is going to be either a 10 or a 12 most likely might be a 13 but there's a nut under here we're going to take that off now all right now you guys can see that a little bit better i did get the nut off ended up being a 12 millimeter it's right inside here so that's what connects to that and then this part here literally just pulls out that's actually right here on this connector on the starter now we're going to go ahead and locate the bolts which I honestly can't see them, so I'm going to go ahead and take a pic or not take a picture, but take a look at the new starter and see where the hell these bolts are, and then we'll move on from there. Alright, so after taking a look at the new starter, the starter pretty much sits in there just like this with the solenoid facing the front of the vehicle. So we have one bolt right up here, and then we have the other bolt right underneath the solenoid. Sorry about all the noise of the cars driving by. So, I'll bring you guys down there. You can kind of see that top bolt right there. And then, of course, the bottom bolt is going to be right in this area. You can kind of see where my finger is moving back there. I'm tapping on it. That's where the other bolt is. And with all this space in here, you should be able to get to that relatively easily. They should be 14 millimeter. If not, they're going to be 17 millimeter. In fact, I think that might be what they are. So I'm going to test out, see what size they are, and get those bolts out. bolt out starting to come loose we got that bottom one loose here just trying to work it out with the socket and you see that starter trying to move on me nearly there I wonder if this bottom bolt is long. 
Let me try to pull the socket off and get at the bolt itself. There we go. Got the bottom one out. Looks like they are indeed the same size. And we'll try to pull this bad boy out of here. There we go. Halfway done. So we went ahead and lined up the starter. Got both the upper and lower bolts in place. Not tightened up yet. Still loose. I'm going to go ahead and get both of those bolts tightened up. And we'll move on. Now that we got the starter reinstalled and all the bolts tightened up, we can go ahead and reconnect all of the electrical, which the lady told me that years ago someone bypassed the uh, starter, and I'm not really sure what they mean by that. And I don't know what this extra wire here is, but I'm going to just put it back how it was. Let me get that nut on there. We'll plug her in. Now we have the starter electrical reconnected. Another thing I should probably mention for those of you that can't tell, this is a manual transmission model. And so if yours is an automatic, the uh, starter will still be on this side of the vehicle here, the passenger side. However, it may uh, look slightly different and the procedure may be slightly different. However, you should still get the general idea by watching this one on the automatic in the event that it is slightly different. So now that the starter is back in, we can go ahead and put this big guy back in there. Of course, we're going to have to go underneath the uh, throttle cable here. So once I get that in place, we'll get it all tightened up. All right, so we went ahead and put those two pieces back together. Got all the bolts that we had originally back in place. Several of these ones were broken or missing prior to service. And so now we just need to reconnect the battery and see if it starts. You need some new headlights for your vehicle? How about some turn signals? Some that are actually very bright. Click the link in the description below and check out Oxido LEDs. And if you use code Andy's Auto, you'll get 15% off your order. Now back to the video. Alright guys, and that's going to be the end of the video for today. Unfortunately, the car wouldn't start. It wouldn't crank before I put a jumper on it. The battery was a little dead and it was just kind of definitely sounded and acting like a bad starter. So we went ahead and put the, bad, er, put the new starter on, put the jumper on it turns over great no issue now except it still won't start it's acting like it's out of gas she said her fuel gauge is kind of messed up so it may actually be out of gas in the event that uh, she adds some gas and uh, it still won't start then we can do some further diagnostics but I did want to let you guys know that unfortunately it did not start because of other issues however um, if you like the video, please go ahead and like below, leave a comment below if you so desire. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and otherwise, we're on to the next job. See you next time.